Hi and welcome to this episode where I will talk to you about choosing the perfect sweater shape. Uh, but first, if you don't know me, my name is Solène Leroux and I'm a knitwear designer based in Paris. Um, my goal as a knitwear designer is to help you progress, learn and grow so you can create beautiful knits that you will love to make and wear for a very long time. Uh, so, um, I want to make one thing clear first uh, about sweater shapes. Um, I read sometimes articles online uh, where they say uh, if you have like a big bust, uh, you shouldn't wear this or this or that shape, and if you are like this, you shouldn't wear this. And um, that's absolutely absolutely not what I want to do because um, I believe in body positivity and I believe that we need to uh, create knits that feel like you like us to express ourselves and so I think that choosing sweater shapes uh, and your favorite sweater shapes is a very personal choice and it shouldn't be dictated by anything or anyone so this video is more about um, presenting those different sweater shapes, talking about them, and um, and then you can make your your perfect uh, choice because every choice is different and it doesn't have to be about just all but shape, but about what we want to uh, what we want to look like, how we want to express ourselves through through the clothes and through the sweaters that we make. So um, I will tell you about four uh, main sweater shapes uh, that you can find in most uh, knitting patterns out there. Uh, so the first one is the yoke, the circular yoke, uh, because the yoke means the top of the of the body. The circular yoke uh, so has um, like a tubular shape on the top of the body uh, that um, includes uh, the the shoulders uh, and the bust and it often so the, there are increases or decreases depending on what size you're working your yoke that are uh, completely invisible because they are uh, like parts usually part of the pattern and um, and so yokes are very very often used with stranded knitting of course because uh, it's like a blank canvas where you can like have a beautiful patterns all over all around and so this kind of shape um, really highlights the top of the body, obviously, so the the bust, and um, there is no shoulder shaping at all. Uh, so that's a very interesting shape if you want to highlight your bust, and um, and uh, if you want to uh, to like have beautiful color work or sometimes cables, uh, lace uh, all over the top of the of your body. Um, the second uh, shape is the raglan. So the raglan is uh, pretty much uh, uh, like the circular yoke, but you have um, incre the increases or decreases are uh, in uh, made uh, in line, so in four lines, uh, two on the front and two on the back of the body, and uh, and so the, this increase or decrease line goes go from the from the neck to the underarm, so sometimes they are very straight um, and um, what I prefer usually is like a modified raglan where the, the line is more uh, rounded, curved, uh, with more increases or decreases uh, when we get closer to the neck and so it's a curve like this and uh, I think that it really flatters more the, the shoulders uh, that way and um, and also it's easier for the bigger size because otherwise uh, when it's a completely straight line like it keeps on growing 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 when we grow the the body size and uh, so but we don't have a uh, obviously uh, always a uh, huge arms uh, even if we have a bit more uh, uh, more uh, width in the in the body so the uh, modified raglan is um, like usually a better fit, uh, but there are very a lot a lot of types of raglan, so you can pick your favorite. Uh, all the different patterns are made um, differently and calculated differently, um, and um, so then there is the satin sleeve, uh, where uh, you have uh, actually a lot of 
shaping around the arm, the arm hole and, uh, and the shoulders. So this one is usually for the more fitted, um, fitted uh, pullovers and sweaters. And, um, but you can find kind of other size ones too. Uh, but it really has a beautiful fitted line around the, around the shoulder and arm hole. So it has a more fitted look usually. And um, finally, the drop shoulder. So this one has uh, no shaping at all, like it's worked completely straight. Uh, the top of the body has the same width at, as the bottom. And then, um, the, the, so the, the sleeves usually start something uh, somewhere uh, around here and are worked uh, uh, so straight or with shaping depending on the pattern and uh, so this one has absolutely no shaping so it's usually used for oversized uh, oversized sweater uh, it, it has kind of a cozy look um, and the oversized can be uh, oversized aspect can be balanced by like some lace or cable patterns uh, on the on the top to, to make it flattering uh, around the neck. So these are the four main shapes of sweaters that you can find. Um, personally, I like to play with all of them because um, depending on what feature I want to put on my design, I will uh, so choose a circular yoke when I want a beautiful stranded pattern. I'll choose um, a raglan if I want, uh, like here, a cable that goes from the top of the sleeve to the to the bottom, and uh, I'll choose a, a satin sleeve when I want something very fitted around the armhole. Um, so yeah, tell me uh, what uh, what is your favorite shape if you have one, or why do you prefer it? Why do you prefer uh, this uh, particular shape? Uh, so I hope that you enjoyed this little video, and uh, I wish you a very nice day.